I sent a tweet out yesterday telling my followers, my measly number of followers, <laughs> that you were going to be on and asking what questions they would like you asked. There was an enormous outpouring of questions about censorship. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you point blank. Does Twitter censor the content of its users? Does it hide what it would consider inflammatory comments, whether they be social or political? Absolutely not. Twitter has always been about controls. People can follow whoever they want. And it's our job to make sure they see the most, the most important things and the, and the things that will matter to them. So anybody can say anything on Twitter? The company does not go in there and take certain things out that can be dangerous? Well, there's, certain, there's certainly tweets that promote violence, which is against our terms of service. And uh, people have controls to block and people have controls to mute. But what about the company? Who decides the, company. the difference between criticism and hate? These are, the, these are the individuals, so you can follow who you want, and if it's something you want to see, you continue to follow it. Hey Jack, there's about 80,000 people who want to see the things that I post on Twitter, that's why they follow me. Now to be honest, I'm not a heavy Twitter user, I mainly use it to announce that I've published a new video on YouTube. 6,000 tweets since late 2015 is pretty light compared to others I've seen. Now I've never promoted violence of any kind on Twitter or anywhere else. I've never threatened or harassed anyone, and I've never promoted anything that could reasonably be considered hateful. Which is why I was a little bit surprised to log in today only to see that my account has been suspended. And we're not talking one of your 12 hour naughty corner suspensions or anything. My account's been permanently suspended, and I've been given no reason or explanation as to why it's been permanently suspended. There are a certain percentage of people on Twitter who seem to me to use the platform simply to express anger and to hurt people and insult people, does it disappoint you? It's disappointing, but I mean, it, it's reflective of the world. We see as much optimism and positivity as we see negativity. And the most important thing is that we're empowering dialogue. We're empowering conversations so that people can work out the issues. Well, Jack, it's a little bit difficult to work out the issues when I haven't been told what the issues are. Now, as you've suspended my Twitter account, I am in no way empowered to have that dialogue with you. So I'm going to ask the 80,000 people who chose to see my Twitter content to have that dialogue on my behalf. Please do whatever you can to ensure Jack sees this video. Upload it to your own YouTube or VidMe channel, do whatever you like with it. I don't think it's unreasonable to expect an explanation when a Twitter account with 80,000 followers is permanently suspended without warning. I appreciate your help. <laughs>